Hey, tell him, come on, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I swear to God, I've been waiting for that for a long time. Me and Devin been in the ring with each other for years. I always got the best of Devin. Tell him, come on. All right, there it is. Shakur Stevenson drops the gauntlet. Back to you. Hey, what's going on, Ringsiders? This is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer, and welcome back to Ringside Stories. Feel free to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for the latest here on Ringside Stories. Thanks so much for your support in advance, and welcome to the channel. Hey, for now, bro. For now. Hey, for now. Hey, for now. Hey, for now. Yeah, um, I just said that I'm number, I'm, I'm number one. I just let him know that, that, that I'm number one, and that's when he said, for now. But um, right now I am I'm number one. So uh, I didn't. Bob ain't said his name. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, Bob hasn't said his name at all. Uh, but um, <laughs> Bob ain't said his name. My phone ain't ringing. But uh, nah, what's the name? Of course, I, I've I've been very vocal about that. Me and Shakur are on a collision course. Whether it's at 135, whether it's at 140, whether whether it's at 147, we definitely on a collision course, and uh, we definitely gonna get it on when the time is right. All we can do is offer them alternative fights. What are the alternative fights? So uh, when I meet with Bill Haney, his father and manager, there are there are a few fights that we can talk about, and there are probably others. He can say to me. Hey, the guy I want is a tremendous fighter and would do a lot of business is Shakur Stevens. I'm saying Shakur beat everybody. It don't matter who it is, Shakur beating them, so it don't matter. Shakur over everybody. Man, that boy's special. That boy's special, man. Shakur is, you know what I mean, one of a kind, you know what I mean? He adapt to every fighter, and then once he adapt to you, it's, 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 it's a long night. We didn't see Shakur go forward. We didn't see Shakur stay in the pocket. You know what I mean? We didn't see Shakur move. We didn't see, you know what I mean? How defense-minded he been. Like, Shakur is just all around a great fighter. Lomachenko should be undisputed champion. He won. Wow. He won. He won that fight. He landed the cleaner punches. He landed the cleaner shots on Dev. And he, he pushed the pace. Lomo wasn't as sharp as he usually is. Because when from a southpaw stance, every time he threw that left hand, that back foot came forward into the point where he was square, squared up, and then he couldn't come back with the right hook. That's the punch he was missing the whole night. And how couldn't he time Devin Haney when Devin Haney left hand was in the bread basket all night? Even when he came forward, he led with his chin all night. Devin Haney needs to have some get more defensively responsible. When you talk about fighting sharpshooters like Shakur Stevenson, and truth be told, Devin Jab wasn't as effective as we normally see it being effective. It's coming from here with it. Man, you gotta get that hand up, bro. You feel me? Just little things like that. It's not enough um, because, like I said, he gotta cut all that weight. Um, he look a little bit weak in there. He ain't look too strong. So, uh, man, whatever he do, he can't, he can't f him. This is him. The fight I would like best is against Shakur Stevenson because he's another guy I love to watch fight. Before we continue with today's episode, we want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Live Good. Live Good promotes high quality, 100% organic products for a fraction of the price. This is one of the reasons why Live Good is disrupting the internet marketing world. Become a member and these wonderful products are even more cheaper for you. You can generate an extra income from the comforts of your own home for only $10 a month. That's why Live Good is the Netflix of internet marketing. Just click on the link below for more info. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Oh, you never. Put your money up on here. I'm gonna put my money up, but we gonna. Oh. I'm gonna leave our rich. 
I honestly, Dev used to be my friend. Like I used to be friends with Dev. Like I ain't. The thing is, like with, with everything that's going on, it's like something his father started. Like out of nowhere, like everything, me and him, Gucci, his father going like Instagram, get to popping crazy. He ain't talked about nothing with Shakur, but Shakur is talking, right? Jay ain't called me, you know what I'm saying? Right? So what do I do, Zach? I don't want to feel like that I'm bullying on, 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 on them, you know what I'm saying? But they be having a problem because I'm telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want me to shut up, but my phone ain't ringing. You know what I'm saying? And once he got to talking, I was like, that's what it is. So, like I said, I, after we fight, maybe we be cool, but as of right now, I ain't cool with none of them. Like, I ain't really. If me and you got to fight, I'm not cool with you. I, don't, I ain't got no friends with you. Um, especially when your father talking crazy. Like, your father want to talk crazy, I'm going to show. I'm going to show his dad why I'm the truth. His dad know I'm the truth. And I'm gonna show him what. I'm gonna show him. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show everybody. I'm gonna show all, all these fighters that I'm the best fighter at 135 pounds by far. I feel like I was just the uh, better fighter. I always felt like I was the better fighter. I, I feel like I'm the best fighter in boxing, man. I stand on that. And I ain't just saying something to, like, uh, for the media or the fans. That's what I actually, like, really believe. So I stand on that. I just stood next to him. He's not that much bigger than me. He's not that much bigger than me. Like, I'm right there inside. So, um, Lemachenko a lot smaller than him. But I'm right there inside for sure. If Devin Haney decides to stay at 135, you could potentially get a shot at the undisputed title. How much do you want that fight? Let's make it happen. I think that should happen next. I think um, Devin not on my level and I'm going to show it. I feel like uh, he's a tough fighter, but it's a high skill level within me and I feel like he's not on my level. Bill um, called me out after my last fight, so now I'm here and they ran out the ring. If y'all want to fight me, we can do that. I'm telling you that the Lomachenko didn't come. Lomachenko was the mandatory. You didn't come. It, was a man it wasn't no mandatory. We yeah, but y'all build up a choose. fight with Lemon Jacob. We can do, we, listen, and we can choose you. All you got to do is go tell Top Rank, move him out the way, you in the front. That's okay. it. Like, so, been here. Me and you could go together. They just seen me just now. They said something and ran out the ring. They got a little scared. If you enjoy more content like this and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. It does help with the algorithm. Thanks so much for your support in advance, and welcome to the channel. Now, if you've done that already, you're amazing. You already know that you are the true undisputed world champion. Till next time, Ringsiders, this is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching, and have a legendary day.